All right, hi guys. Um, this is Cure by um, Belinda Frisch. It's the first in the series. The second one is Afterbirth. Not for the weak hearted. Um, we definitely really have to like blood and guts and nasty, really gross, crosses the line kind of things. But essentially the story is that this guy, um, this doctor, Nixon, is experimenting on women from the town, I think Strandville, and like they get kidnapped and he impregnates them with zombie sperm. He's trying to find a cure for zombies. This woman, Miranda, gets kidnapped and she has to, like she is stuck there with them and impregnated and she is like the key to it all or something. So her ex-husband comes looking for her and that's pretty much it um, without giving anything away. So the main characters are Miranda, obviously, um, Scott, her ex-husband, who I think has like a military background of some sort, Zach, who is military, I believe, um, he is a security guard and works for Nixon. Nixon has his wife. So yeah, Zach is kind of forced to do what Nixon wants. Um, the Nixon, the bad guy, and uh, there's one other guy. Um, Max Reed is another security guard and he works. He's like Nixon's bodyguard essentially. And he does everything and disposes of the bodies. And he's just, he's the gruesome bad guy that works for the gruesome bad guy. <laughs> there is another cop, another version of this book than the one that I have currently. I have um, like a, an advanced reader's copy. Um, so this, there are changes since the, the version that I have. However, this version that I got from Goodreads First Reads program and the author herself, um, has quite a few errors and they were all things that any editor should have picked up on. They didn't really detract from the story. They were distracting, but I was able to move faster very quickly and it wasn't an issue. I thought, I knew it was going to be gross and bloody and whatever, but I was not anticipating this much. Just really gross scenes. I'm just like, bad. Not like scary, just gross. <laughs> it's very graphic and bloody. If you can't handle sawing limbs, zombies, eating things, crazy baby zombie hybrids, and pregnant women suffering, then you need to not even look at this book. Towards like where the climax is, um, the middle, just past the middle towards the end of the book, um, the climax gets a little intense. Like I was showing physiological reactions and I was like tensing up and getting frustrated. <laughs> There's one scene where they pull out the teeth of a zombie so that he can't bite anyone and spread the infection. That hurt me. I did like the book. Um, I liked the author's writing style and the way that it switches point of views so you can understand what's happening in multiple different areas of the hospital because a lot of things happen at once. This is definitely an adult book. You know, 17, you might be able to get away with it, but um, again, parental control. If you think your child is not okay with some of this content, then don't let them read it. There are a lot of things in here that cross a moral line and I mean, there's a reason for it um, because it's deliberately supposed to get to you. I have given it a uh, four out of five just because it had errors which are probably mostly fixed in the current newest version. Um, but it was a good story, really good plot. I liked the characters. I didn't even mind all the bloodiness. Um, yeah, so four, four, four and a half out of five. Okay, from this point on, I have I have one spoiler I, that I can think of right now. Yeah, I might have more, but um, so spoilers. Okay, few questions um, as far as zombiness goes. So the infected that they're experimenting on that Nixon has in the basement are they dead? Like dead, dead? 
because they inject them with stuff that, like, you need to have a beating heart to have it do anything. Like, how are the sedatives working? And when they give them those shots that are supposed to slow down the reactions, how are they getting anywhere when they don't have blood flow and a pumping heart to make it work? Or maybe that's why it doesn't work as well as it used to, because they're dying more or I don't know they don't really explain that I mean they don't have a metabolism and I just it doesn't make any sense like as far as the things that they are needling into their bodies also I feel like they should have explained more about the zombies that they kept in the um, basement just because there's like, at the beginning, they explain that there's one kid who kind of started it. They don't explain how it happened or, like, what it is, this infection. Is it a mutation? What, um, this kid just had it and somehow they get notified of it and they go and try and deal with it. So, A, that should have been explained a little bit more. And B, so they explain this little kid, um, and then at the end, the kid, like, shows up and attacks them. But then he's like, oh yeah, we've got kids down here, and it's like, I would like to know what the dangers are before I just, like, walk into it. Um, so I feel like the guys who had more experience about what was going on should have explained, these are what we have to deal with, these are the people we have to deal with, these are the things we have to avoid, this is where things are. And they don't. They just, like, walk blindly into it, and it's frustrating and the author kind of has to explain as they go on what's going on, who's where, and it's just it's frustrating as a reader to have to mentally put the pieces together and you don't start out with that nice platform and then build off of it. You're still- it's like Jenga, like you're trying to do- to build on top when you have all these holes on the bottom and it's just frustrating. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe and or comment with suggestions. I am open to suggestions. Uh, I'll see you again probably later this week.